All right, so this is the majority of my zip worm order that I put in. Um, there's still a few things that I'm waiting to get, but this is most of it. Um, right here is the original 5 inch zipper worm. I bought it in the sour grape and the cinnamon oxbug color. This right here is a sour grape color. It's kind of dark purple on one side. It kind of has like a greenish on the other side. But as you can see, that classic zipper worm shape, it's really well made really limber it'll have a ton of action in the water and the thing about these is they feel really soft but they also feel really durable at the same time like they can take a beating and you can catch you know more fish on one piece of these than you could most other soft plastics they're not heavily salt impregnated like Senkos or anything they won't just completely degrade and fall apart on you it's actually really awesome that they feel so strong yet they're so limber at the same time um, these right here are the, um, I believe are, these are the 6 inch shaken worms. I got them in Aaron's Magic and the Red Craw. These ones too, just, they have the, the classic zipper shape, the, or the ring style like some other companies call them. And, um, they're, again, really limber. They'll have a ton of action in the water, and they will move around a lot, and it's kind of like a paddle tail at the end. Probably be fishing these on shaky heads and probably even wacky rigging these too. It looks like, you know, they'll just really wiggle around and have good attracting qualities. Um, this right here is the pumpkin and chartreuse 6 inch zipper lizard and man this thing looks awesome. I mean those legs just look like they'll be wiggling around like crazy. That tail will have action and I mean they're just really really well made and again really limber but they feel strong at the same time and i can't wait to try these out this right here is probably what i'm most excited to use it's the, the five inch monkey bug i'm a big fan of creature baits i like the zoom brush hogs and the baby brush hogs but um, i think these will just put those to shame um the front legs are a lot longer they look like they'll have a ton of action the back legs too these will be kicking around and the cool thing about these is they feel so solid and they're they're pretty well weighted in the front that even whether or not you actually have like a bullet weight or have it on the jig head it seems like um seems like you'll be able to get that falling action even like head first even without any weights or anything oh uh, this right here i'm really excited to fish these over beds for small mouths um this is the uh, the five inch zipper or four and a half inch zipper craw in natural craw color and again these really really match the craws in our legs with that dark upper body and the bright orange lower body on um, i tested these in a tank on a on a shaky head and when you jig it up and down these claws just stand straight up like they're in the defensive position and i think that's going to trigger a lot of bites um i got that in the watermelon red and black flake as well this right here is interesting i'm really Excited to try these two. I've heard some people refer to these as like the zipper version of a solid body tube. This is the five inch zipper zip zit in watermelon pepper color. Um, again, just really limber. Those that zip worm shape will they look like they'll just push a whole they'll move a whole lot of water. And the cool thing about these tentacles or the tail is that they're all individual, they're not stuck together so in the water they're going to be waving around they're going to be creating a lot of action and um probably fish these texas rig weightless and with a weight but i i like fishing weightless that slow falling action and the the free movement really seems to trigger bites um that is a that's a zip as well on the four inch this is kind of like um i think a finesse hand poured grab bag that i bought um i'll get into some of those in a little bit these right here, I'm really excited for smallmouth fishing too. Um, um, some of the locally made baits here that are really popular are the, the sniper lures, but these right here are the 3.7 or 3 and 3 quarter inch drop shot shakers. Um, they pretty much look like a small version of the shaken worm um, shape wise, but um, they, yeah, the tail is just going to be kicking around like crazy when you're twitching it along on the drop shot. And, um, I've I've seen videos where people will just either nose hook these or they'll even Texas rig these, but either way they're gonna have a whole ton of action, and um, 
probably catch all sorts of fish on a drop shot. Uh, I got those. Um, this one is Watermelon Red Black Flake, and that one is Aaron's Magic. This right here is the Spider Grub. Um, and then Gary Yamamoto has something similar to this, but he doesn't. His nose doesn't have the zipworm shape, and um, the the two legs in the front or the back, however you want to fish it. I mean, they're big. They look like they're gonna flop around and create a, a lot of movement. And again, the the tentacles or the tails on these are just really well made, where they're not just chunky. They're actually they're sticking together now, but they're actually individual strands. And I've heard of people fishing these either way with the legs in the back or the tentacles in the back, but I'll probably be trying both. Might fish these on jigs, might fish them as trailers, all sorts of things. Spread right here is a smoke black, red, green, and pumpkin, pepper, and green tail, some crazy name. And it's right here is a smoke red, black flake. But um, yeah, these look really awesome. Um, let me open this up right here real quick. So um, yeah, this is um, these are hand pours, and um, these feel really good, and they have a good weight to them, and they're just really limber. They're not stiff. They'll have all sorts of action. Um, I believe there's even. Yeah, there's even a couple of 8-inch ones in here, which I'll probably be using in the lakes that are known for having a little bit bigger bass. But all of these, they just, I mean, they feel like gel, they feel like pudding or whatever. They're just really limber and they're just moving around everywhere. So this is, I'll probably be doing these for a lot of finesse fishing. These look like they work great on racket wigs, or sorry, wacky rigs. And I'm, you know, even some of these probably work really well on a drop shot. But, um... Yeah, I'm really excited and stoked to just try these out. Um, you guys should definitely check out zipwormcompany.com and try some of their products. I, I've yet to try them, but I already know that I'm going to be satisfied with them.